Welcome to Talk Utah, everybody. I'm Holly Love, and today I am joined by the awesome Farrell Lafferty. I I've never been Yay! referred to as awesome. Yes, you have. I always refer to you as the awesome Farrell Lafferty. And I would refer to you as the beautiful Holly Love. I know. I, I love how we have little <laughs> titles. So, Mr. Trip Mitchell, our dear other co-host, yeah, is how actually... How did I end up here? I know. Well, he is in Vegas this weekend at, I think it's called, is it NBA? No, that's National Basketball yeah, League. That's... Aaliyah, help me out. No, okay, we're not going to figure it out. But Maybe basically, it's MBA. I well, it's a it's a it's a huge convention for people who are in TV and film broadcasting. They basically unveil all the new stuff, technologically speaking, that's happening. Why weren't we invited then? Because no, kind of rude, right? We're hip. We're on the cutting edge, Holly. We're. I, I mean, we know. We know what's cool. That's at right. least we could point at it and be you, like, "That you look looks through the cool. thing and you press the button and." Yeah. Uh, so hopefully Trip is getting us some, you know, new microphones and maybe some snazzy new lights or something. Yes. I have, I have no idea. But moral being, Trip is away, and you were willing to come down and, and hang out with us. So thank you very much. Took a day off work. I know. So not, thank you to your boss. Your yes. boss is like really cool, actually. Honestly, honestly, you have to refer to her as the lovely Chris. Lovely Chris. Thank you for sharing Farrell with us today. Really appreciate it. She probably is glad that I'm I was just going to say, she was probably going to thank me. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably, probably. going to get a text later where she's like, any time, <laughs> literally. I mean, seriously. <laughs> probably. Okay, so um, Farrell, besides crowd serving, we hang out, you know, do a lot of that. Yes. And I just started wondering, like, what else do you do when you're not working at Hill, crowd serving? I, I actually I, don't even know. You probably What's don't been going on? I, yeah, um, I probably don't. Actually, I am working on a video for the Gangrene Film Festival. What? I know. And Without me? I know, and I kind of feel guilty about that. But my friend, my friend Dan Nobles. Talented musician, Dan Nobles. Yes, he really mm -hmm. is. He, he's incredible. Um, he wrote a song called My Friend Brad. And so we're going to do, not a video for the song per se, uh -huh. but we're doing a video around the song. Okay. And the, 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 the song is, you know, the kind of roommate that you have that you really don't want is Brad and I get to play Brad for some just, reason. He do thought you think, I'd be a perfect fit. Do you think he wrote the song about you? Were you the inspiration? I don't think I was necessarily the inspiration, but I think I could be the inspiration. Okay, well, interesting. Well, the Gangrene Film Festival, I think, is coming up in September. Really cool thing. If you want to do a short film for it, you should definitely get that in. Are we still going to do one together? Are you I just completely so. off with Brad no. now and it's just I over? want to do a video with you, Holly. You need to teach me how to be an actor. That's a lot of pressure. Okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> and then coming up, we have news you can use. You don't want to go anywhere because we are going to be talking politics with Vera Lafferty. It's going to be interesting. We'll be right back right after this. We did the psychiatrist and the psychologist and the neurologist and all the different ologists. Brain Balance was able to put their finger on it and say, this is exactly why she's struggling. If one hemisphere of the brain dominates the other, learning and behavior are affected. Brain Balance fixes this connection, resulting in life-changing improvement. At school, the teachers can't believe the change that has come about. This is not my kid anymore. This is this totally different kid. At Salt Lake City Med Spa, beauty goes way beyond skin deep. While Dr. Brent Larson is nationally sought after for his unique ability to combine precision and skill with artistry and the latest technology, including Old Therapy, the amazing non-surgical facelift with no downtime, and Cool Sculpting, the safe, easy, non-surgical way to eliminate those stubborn fat areas. He also specializes in diet, exercise, and hormone therapy. So if you're feeling tired, anxious, have weight problems, or you're on depression medication that just isn't working anymore, call for a free consultation with Dr. Larson and discover how fast bioidentical hormone therapy can re-energize your life, making depression and anxiety disappear in as quickly as a few days. Plus, mention this ad and receive 30% off any procedure. Salt Lake City Med Spa, where beauty goes beyond skin deep. Welcome back everybody, Holly Love here with Farrell Lafferty and we are about to do a little news you can use and we're talking politics, which, because it just made sense. You know, yeah, Farrell Lafferty is on the show, we should talk a little <laughs> politics. No, actually, I, I have some reason for my, some, for my madness here. You work at Hill Air Force Base and you had a very interesting visitor 
yes. recently. Well, not interesting, but a really big time visitor. He Tell wasn't, me about it. He wasn't my personal visitor. No, right? he didn't just come to see you. No. <laughs> Go figure, right? Yeah. Um, you were super excited. I mean, your Facebook <laughs> posts were like, wow. <laughs> well, let me tell you, and I don't want to come off as that I'm hating on Obama because I realize- You don't hate Obama. Yes. I realize officially. it's a president. Mm -hmm. I've never met him. I have a simple rule. <laughs> I have to meet somebody before I can hate them. Well, that's, that is a very interesting rule. That's okay. Like making fun of something. I have to know something about it before I can make fun of it. All right. Okay. But Solid. anyway. I realize he's the president. So mm -hmm. be it Obama or Abraham Lincoln, when they come in, they have to have security. And things have to be because <laughs> somebody might want to hurt him, I Assuming? Guessing. Assuming, yeah. yeah. Not me, but somebody, I'm mm -hmm. sure. But they closed the entire place down. They shut everything down. Really? Everything. You couldn't leave the building if you wanted to smoke. And we both know Obama smokes, right? So how hypocritical is that? Oh, he had a smoke break, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he did. So all you guys were on like lockdown. You, could you go oh, eat or go not, to the bathroom? Not or? me. I didn't come to work that day. Oh, you just didn't even show? Nah. Could, I mean, does the lovely Chris know that? Yeah. She, she was okay with that? Well, the lovely Chris actually encouraged me to take the day off. Something about <laughs> a security <laughs> risk or something. I don't know. <laughs> just not even like let you out yeah. as an option. Yeah, pretty okay, much. Okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> so, you know, Obama came. They shut down the freeways and everything like that, too. Yeah, both lanes. Yeah, that's a really big thing. When he would come to L.A., even L.A. had some serious hate for Obama because he came a lot. And well, oh my the gosh, president. the whole world like, would Hollywood. stop. And the one time the 405 was shut down and like you could not cross to get from LA to like the beach towns. Mm. And so I needed to get to Manhattan Beach and I was in Hollywood and I got stuck in Beverly Hills for the night. It was a nightmare. Wait. I mean, there are worse places to be stopped. Think, think perspective. About, think but. about what you just said. I was stranded in Beverly Hills. It <laughs> was know. a nightmare. It sounds horrible. Like, but <laughs> like there's transients there and everything. Well, it's not like I had a million dollars to spend or anything. So it was, we just kind of found a cute um, little Starbucks or something to hang out in. How far is the ocean in. from Beverly Hills? Oh my gosh. Okay. Side note. You haven't been to LA. We were just talking about this with Chris and, or with Scott and with Heather, our yes. friends. Mm -hmm. And we we're saying, we, we need to go to LA with you. Oh, could you imagine? Yes. You know where I want to go in LA? Go I can't go imagine. Go. That's where I want to go. Okay, you make a list of places you want to go, All and right. I think we need to make L.A. a thing. Okay, back to politics. Here we go. Sorry, that was a little side note. Um, we have Mark Rubio, who announced yesterday he's a Republican. He is a Cuban-American and Florida, Florida, not that word, Florida, Floridian. center. Right? Oh, my gosh, I can't even speak anymore. I think this is just like a bad thing. He's a Florida senator. What do you think about Mark Rubio? I, I know nothing about him. I can't say anything bad about him. I don't know him. You know, oh, here we go. You have to actually officially meet him. Well, that makes this discussion weird. What about Hillary Clinton? At least you got to say I, something because you watched her. I have a question. I okay. know I have a question about that. Okay. When Bill Clinton was president, uh -huh. Hillary Clinton was the first lady. All right. If Hillary Clinton becomes president, uh -huh. what does that make Bill Clinton? The first lady? Hmm. Well, we know it's not the first lady. And it can't be the first gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. What well, I... I mean, is it the first gentleman? Is that what they... Oh, and do you think he gets to pick out the drapes in the China for, for the White House? Remember... remember Interesting. Remember long ago when... I think he should have to pick out the drapes in the China. Remember long ago when, when President Reagan became president mm -hmm. and the big outrage was that Nancy Reagan bought new China for the White House and people were I don't, outrageous. He spent a bunch of money I don't remember it, but I think if that's like part of the spouse's duties... The first lady's duties... <laughs> I think that bill, that needs to, I would be interested to see what kind of China bill would come up with. Uh, I, so would I, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> I bet he has good taste. I bet he does. You know, or at very least a few people he could consult. Yeah, I mean, for yeah. some for some ideas for some China and some drapes. He probably has. <laughs> I don't know some. why I just all of a sudden became Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I was inspired. Uh, yeah, well, weird. Okay, but what do you think about the way she announced? As far as what, the... yeah, what was up with the YouTube thing? She's got a billion dollars. She could she could take over every network and do a great big. And instead, she shows she's to do hip. YouTube. She's she's hip with the younger kids. She's no more hip with the younger kids than I am. I see. I think at some point, like when you're over seventy, mm. you have to acknowledge. Isn't she over seventy? Pretty I, sure. I have no idea. Like, there's not a shot you're going to be hit with the. All young I folks. know, all I know for sure, she's older than me, and that would make you old. 
Yeah. Well, it'll be an interesting race nonetheless. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but kind of cool. You know, we had the president at Hill Air Force Base. That was fun. Yes. Well, not for you. I, I was you weren't there. there. Kind of fun that he at least, you know, graced us with his presence. Okay, you don't want to go anywhere because uh, Farrell Lafferty, obviously here with us, we are going to be talking about our visit to the Mountain Man Rendezvous. We're going to have thoughts, thinking thoughts with Farrell. I can't talk anymore. We should just let him go. We'll be right back after this. At Salt Lake City Med Spa, beauty goes way beyond skin deep. While Dr. Brent Larson is nationally sought after for his unique ability to combine precision and skill with artistry and the latest technology, including Old Therapy, the amazing non-surgical facelift with no downtime, and Cool Sculpting, the safe, easy, non-surgical way to eliminate those stubborn fat areas. He also specializes in diet, exercise, and hormone therapy. So if you're feeling tired, anxious, have weight problems, or you're on depression medication that just isn't working anymore, call for a free consultation with Dr. Larson and discover how fast bioidentical hormone therapy can re-energize your life, making depression and anxiety disappear in as quickly as a few days. Plus, mention this ad and receive 30% off any procedure. Salt Lake City Med Spa, where beauty goes beyond skin deep. We did the psychiatrist and the psychologist and the neurologist and all the different ologists. Brain Balance was able to put their finger on it and say, this is exactly why she's struggling. If one hemisphere of the brain dominates the other, learning and behavior are affected. Brain Balance fixes this connection, resulting in life-changing improvement. At school, the teachers can't believe the change that has come about. This is not my kid anymore. This is this totally different kid. System Networks has been helping companies nationwide for a surprisingly low price. With a wide range of 24-7 technical support services and a staff of high-level network engineers, System Networks can eliminate all your company's time-wasting technical problems, allowing your team to be more efficient and able to focus on the work they do. System Networks has the most sophisticated and secure cloud services in the country and programs like Office 365. Plus, System Networks can customize data plans to meet the budgetary needs of any sized company. My name is Jeff Laramie. I'm the CEO of Beans and Brews Coffee House. I originally called uh, System Networks because we wanted to try outsourcing our IT. I would highly recommend System Networks because they've been a fantastic IT partner for us. They're super reliable, very knowledgeable, and they've just been a, a great overall consultant for us. Mention this ad and they'll put $1,500 toward a new server, cloud licensing, or firewalls. Let System Networks handle your technical needs so you can focus on what you do best. Welcome back, everybody. Holly Love with Farrell Lafferty. Farrell, we get to do some really cool things with crowd surfing, and I love that you invite me to come out and do it. Your reaction's great because <laughs> you, you, you like don't know what to expect. Like I'm going to send you down some dark road by yourself, which you would <laughs> if, if Bill would let you. Yeah, I probably would. Which is basically the truth. But something cool really happened. So. Basically, we went up to the Mountain Man Rendezvous, but before we did, we met some really cool kids on Facebook. Yes. Who are fans. Scott people and Heather. who actually watch our show. Yes. And they found us. They're from California. And they actually found us on On Demand, Utah On Demand, looking yeah. for things to do in Utah. They were trying to figure out, like, where do we go? What do we do? They started watching crowd surfing. And who better than Holly and Farrell? Yeah, and you actually gave them advice on, on what to do, and that was cool, and they were loving it, and they're such awesome people. We, so they came up to the Mountain Man Rendezvous. We got to talk to them, and that was really fun and interesting to see that people are watching us, and you're actually yes. doing good things out there, Farrell. Yeah. Somebody like, hey, Farrell's entertaining. Fair, well, and we're, we're doing like a public service. Yes. We're announcing the cool things. So we got to talk to them, and I learned that there are mountain men in the world, which I had no idea there was. So, you know, take a look. Apparently, I'm taking over the Mountain Man Rendezvous because there is a red new, like, wind guard that must mean me. Because if it meant feral, it would be a clown nose. Uh, it is a clown nose! Honky, honky, that's pretty funny! 
<laughs> but we're here with the man in charge, Jim. Jim, tell me about this whole thing because I was asking you before, there are tents everywhere, there are vendors. I have never seen anything like this. This is so cool. It is, it's pretty nice. It's the 29th year we've done it down here at, the, at Fort Benaventura. Uh, annual event that happens every year at Easter, Easter weekend, at whatever Easter happens to fall on. Sometimes it's in April, sometimes it's March, which is cold right now. But uh, it's, 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 it's yeah. actually not that bad. No, it doesn't feel bad right now, but last night it was pretty cold. You guys were cold. You were cold last night. Yeah. As, as you can hear, they got shooting going on now. There's, a, there's an itinerary that people can look up and, and uh, follow the events and, and come on down and have a good time. No way, no way, it's all right. All right, everybody, we are here at the Rendezvous. Farrell, what have you gotten me into today? Holly, you stick around with me and you find all kinds of interesting stuff. Fort Buenaventura Mountain Man Rendezvous, come on. Now, this is, tell me your name. Hatchet Jack. Hatchet Jack, this is his real name, people. This isn't pretend. Mountain Man names, that's your real name. Yep, how real did name. You, How did you become Hatchet Jack? Uh, I sat on a hatchet one day. Is that really true? <laughs> it's, it's from something embarrassing happening, right? Yeah, yeah. Cut your bum. Ooh, are y'all right? Yeah. You know, oh, you yeah. why you wear the leather yeah. pants? A big old crack in it. You want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. No, no, no. We're good. So, well, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> so, here's the scoop. We have actual real normal people who watch us on TV, like for real. So we we're on Facebook the other day, I'm pretty positive Farrell's punking me or paying people to be as pretty as these people are that are befriended me on Facebook. They were friends with some of, I don't know, Farrell, so I naturally assumed that, you know, well, no, they were beautiful, so I assumed that maybe they were friends with you for some reason, unknown, but or you had just created their Facebook, but for real, you guys watch our show, which is nuts, and you're from California, new to Utah. Yes, we found you on Xfinity On Demand, Utah On Demand. That's pretty cool, and how long have you been in Utah for? Um... Four, four and five, and yeah. Months, yeah, yeah, and, and we've been looking for things to do, and we found your guys on demand. We're like, wow, my gosh, there's stuff to do. And, and thanks to Farrell, they found it. Can you believe it? I'm helping people, Holly. Me. <laughs> Who thunk it, right? Yes, and I, I even text my mom. She's like, how'd you find out about that? So you know, if it's out there, people want to know. They'll do it. Hey, Sue, um, this is the trading post, and you're famous here. Oh, I am. Everyone what am I famous for. <laughs> everyone says I have to come and talk to you because this is the spot. I think I'm more infamous than I'm famous. Either one is good though. Okay. Yeah, look. I'm kind of a big deal at the rendezvous. I'm you a, are a big deal here. Uh, you know, I'm, You're like a celebrity. I'm, now, if it was Hollywood, I'd have something, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if this was Hollywood, this would be an entirely different thing. Well, yeah. But I if I was. This would be like, and I don't even understand. But think how good it would be if I was this popular in Hollywood. Well, we'd make a lot more money. That's for sure. <laughs> Holly, it's not about money for me. It's about, you know, keeping in touch with the common people. And you do really well at that. <laughs> <laughs> I, if it's one thing I am, it's common. <laughs> Something like that. So now explain to me, because I was talking to him about how, are these just average people who woke up and pulled out their teepee and, and came on out? No, this is kind of a, I guess you would call a... Uh, extended family, and, you know, these people go to Fort Bridger together, they they hang out together, they pretty much know each other by their mountain man name and regular name, and they're, I, I think they hang out as a, a group all together all the time. So you're saying if I just showed up with my TP, I probably wouldn't fit in so well? I think you probably would, if you get, you get have to dress the part, of course. So your earrings are fantastic, your Thank outfit you. is fantastic, this whole thing, I've never seen anything like this before. Haven't you? Oh no. my goodness, where have you been? Apparently not. You've been in the 20th century. I have missed out. I mean, I'm from a small town in Utah, but I didn't know these happened. Oh yeah, they happen. Every weekend somewhere in the United States, a rendezvous happens. That is really cool. So if you want to be a mountain man, how do you like do get you hooked up with you guys? Well, there's a lot of ways. You can come into my shop and talk to me, and I can help you get outfitted. Or you can come to the Free Mountain Trapper meetings, and we'll help you um, find your way through it. And there's books to read. You can go to the library and read all kinds of books. Or you can um, ask around here, what should I do to get started? Farrell actually is helping change lives. <laughs> I just, I honestly never thought I would say it out loud. <laughs> It's, my brain is just a little bit gone, like it's flatlining right now. That's, that's the noise. And what is your favorite part? What do you look forward to the most? People. I love the people. Like a family reunion? Yeah. The, the public. 
I love the public. Because anybody can come down here. Now, I have to tell you, what little bit I, they've allowed me to see in there, the leather stuff, I want to like do my Christmas shopping. I have no words to say. <laughs> Farrell, you're fantastic. You know I think you're fantastic. Yes. And this is super fun. I've done so many things with Farrell myself that honestly I would have never done otherwise. So really, truly, why am I surprised that he's not getting you guys into doing cool stuff? Now, you two models over here, have, has TMG found you yet? Vicky, my agent? Mm. You call her and tell her Holly sent you. Okay. <laughs> How old are you? 14. Oh my gosh, 14. Now Utah isn't known for modeling, but wowzers. Both of you. How old are you? 12. 12 and tall. If we had runways going on, I would be agenting and managering you. Okay, a teepee doesn't have electricity, which means you couldn't run it. Mine would. It, no, it wouldn't, Holly. It, no, you can't, it's called a generator. You can't have those here. They didn't Why? have generators back in 72 or whenever it is they're talking about. I could probably survive one day without a blow dryer. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh. Okay, I am oh. a camper. All right, we'll see. I, no I don't no know what we're betting on right now. I don't know what is happening. No kind of beauty products, okay. no hair dryers, okay. no... Just, just a sleep. Name, bottle. name two, two beauty products, Farrell. First dryer and lipstick. I don't know. Let's lay down the challenge. Next, next Easter rendezvous, I expect to see you here in a teepee. <laughs> yes, Holly's gonna be in a teepee. I wow. Be too. <laughs> so, besides getting outfitted, what else do you need to? I mean, a teepee, a tent. Like, what does it take to fit in here and not get just run out of here? Uh, it's hard to get run out. People are pretty nice. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm here, still here. Well, obviously, if they tolerate Farrell. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. He's just gonna go in there. Are you I sure think I'll close the door while he's in there. <laughs> I, could be, I wouldn't close him in. Oh yeah, I would, and lock the door. I would be terrified what we'd I'm find at the end of the day. I think these guys need to come to game night when we do that. We're having game night. What? what? <laughs> Remember at SaltCon, we're gonna have game night with the uh, with the boys from Gangrene Film Festival. Oh, shoot your friends. Yeah, yes. that was super fun. We'll tell you when we're having game night. <laughs> Welcome, for sure. I, I think that would be really fun. Okay, so until game night, these guys are watching. You guys should be watching. Everybody watch. People are finding out stuff to do. I mean, really. But hey, I didn't know this existed, and this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. She had a lot of trouble in school. He had some impulsivity issues. He was having a lot of meltdowns, a lot of tantrums. I feel like all I did was yell at my kid all day. Brain balance is the answer for your kid because it didn't just mask the problems, it actually addressed the issue. We started seeing huge differences in her behavior. It's a totally different life. Let System Networks handle your technical needs so you can focus on what you do best. With a wide range of 24-7 technical support services and a staff of high-level network engineers, System Networks can eliminate all your company's time-wasting technical problems, allowing your team to be more efficient, productive, and able to focus on the work they do. Mention this ad and they'll put $1,500 toward a new server, cloud licensing, or firewalls. System Networks, allowing you to do what you do best. Hello, and welcome back to Talk Utah. I'm Farrell Lafferty. This is Holly Love. And for some reason, Holly's giving me a segment. What's up with that? Well, basically, I was noticing last night on Facebook that um, you like to share your thoughts, Farrell, if you will. Yeah, I have a couple thoughts. You have some thoughts. And then I, I, I dug a little deeper, and you have lots of, of thoughts that you like to share. So I think we should have a segment when you come on, you know, Thinking Thoughts with Farrell. All right. I think, I think it's a really good one. Yes. But starting out, you are super, super excited that Nickelback is going on tour again. I, I am not super. There is nothing <laughs> worse than Nickelback. Nothing. Uh, why the rage? I heard what? a Nickelback song on my radio. I thought it was broken. I was like, what is that horrible sound coming out of my speakers? I don't know what that is. Are, they're not that bad. I mean, they're they have a good. contract. They're making money. Yeah, just because you make money doesn't mean you're good at it. Okay, well, then who should we be listening to? Because apparently Nickelback, not... Anybody but Nickelback. Or, you know so what? So that's just like your least favorite band of all that's time. That's right. Listen to some Todd Schneider. Wow. That'll clear your soul. I don't know who that is. Look him up. Okay. You can thank me later. Oh, all right. Todd, Todd <laughs> Schneider. Anyone else? Oh, no. That's oh. enough for now. We'll local talk bands. About that later. Local bands. The best local band right now, hands down. Country, rock, anything? Mm-hmm. Colt 46. Oh. Look him up. 
Where are they playing? What do they do? They play all kinds of things, but mainly country and not the poppy, rappy country. They play good old fashioned country. Okay. You know, fighting, drinking country. That, like you need to be fighting and drinking while you're listening to it, or they talk yeah, about good. fighting and drinking? Both, both. Okay, so you kind of have a problem with, some, with the cigarette thing. What, what's, what's happening there? I have no problem with cigarettes. <laughs> No? I'm, I quit smoking six years ago. Okay. Right? I smoked for on a long time. Right? How are your lungs, by the way? I don't know. Well, sometimes when I run, well, <laughs> I don't run unless I have to, okay? Right. Like when you're screaming obscenities at me in haunted houses and punching me, I start getting out of breath. Uh-huh. And it feels like my lungs burning. are bleeding. Yeah, it's weird. That's still happening. Weird, That's yeah. a thing at six years later. But Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> smoking in general irritates the snot out of me. Mm-hmm. Because people are rude, right? Oh. Smoking itself is not rude. Smoking is just a thing that happens, You're addicted right? to. That's right. It's just, just a thing. But when you light up in a crowd of people and That's you're favorite. stinking, yeah. You got little kids and then, you know, you have, you have delicate flowers like Holly. She doesn't want smoke in her hair, right? I don't usually. But the new thing now, of course, is e-cigarettes, right? And what? Go ahead. That you is have the, some thoughts on That those. is the dumbest thing ever because people, they, they, they claim they quit smoking, but then they have that e-cigarette thing. Do people really claim they've like quit oh, yeah. smoking? Oh, I, I, I got this new e-cig. I'm going to quit smoking now. And you know what? Nine out of ten of them are right back to cigarettes anyway. Or they're smoking both, the e-cigarette and the... I but do doesn't the e-cigarette, it's the same thing. It's still nicotine. I mean, why would they yeah, need but to they, smoke I don't know. I guess they claim there's not, they claim it's healthier. Where is the what? study that says e-cigarettes are healthier? I have yet to see one. I've heard they're probably going to be worse because it's like double Lord chemicals knows. versus, yeah. I mean, who knows? I know. And then these idiots that modify their e-cig so they have big clouds of smoke. Like, that's a cool thing, apparently. I don't know. I don't even know what that means. You know what's cool? Not what? smoking. I agree. Yes. Not smoking is cool because it's really bad for you. Yeah, and it's expensive as can be. It is expensive. Way. Okay, what, what about Christmas, Farrell? <laughs> I hate Christmas. I hate decorating. I hate Christmas trees. I hate the music. The music's the worst part of Christmas. The worst part. What? Perry Como. It's you don't all, love Perry Como? You know what? As much as I love John Denver, I don't even like John Denver's Christmas album. What about Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton Christmas? That's one of my favorites. Hmm, I haven't listened Alabama? To that much now. Wow. So Christmas, not a thing. I don't want to talk about it right now. Well, all right, Farrell, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us today. I think that needs to be something we do more of. Um, crowd surfing, we've got some really fun things coming up, so be sure and watch for us on Comcast. And if you want more from the Mountain Man Rendezvous, check us out. We're on demand with that. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you have a lovely day. We're Holly Love, Farrell Lafferty, Talk Utah. Have a good one.